Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff and Things. I'm Mia. And I'm Dan. And this is our daily news show where we share stories from Canada and around the world. Here in Canada, gay and lesbian couples have enjoyed all the same marriage rights and privileges as hetero couples since 2005. And hopefully the rest of the world will be joining us soon. I'm looking at you, America. The newest country to jump on the bandwagon is a very surprising one. Vietnam. If the motion put forth by the Justice Ministry is approved next year and passes through the National Assembly, it would be the first Asian country to legalize same-sex marriage. Homosexuality in most Asian nations is a huge taboo. Most gay couples can never publicly discuss or even express their relationships. And Vietnam is no different. It has a terrible track record when it comes to human rights violations, and it makes you wonder what could change their minds. The answer is pretty simple, the law system. How do you settle a property or an inheritance dispute without the necessary laws to guide you? You can't, and that's the reason the Justice Minister is drafting the proposal. He was quoted as saying, I think, as far as human rights are concerned, it's time for us to look at the reality. The number of homosexuals has mounted to hundreds of thousands. It's not a small figure. They live together without registering marriage. They may own property. We, of course, have to handle these issues legally. So, for everybody else living in countries where gay marriage is still illegal, how do you feel about Vietnam possibly having this go through? A country which has in the past not really treated its people very well. Let us know in the comments down below. And if you've liked what you've seen today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you in a couple of hours.